Hi folks, uh, just for a change from uh, painting ancients or sea people's figures, um, I've got my uh, Henry V figure out that I actually got last year. Uh, I've done nothing with him, so I'm thinking, hmm, I think I fancy painting him, so I'm going to have a go. I'm not sure how I'll get on because of all the surcoat stuff, but I'll have a try. That's all you can do in it, try and see how these things go. So, Henry V it is. Back in a tick. Okay, so well on his way, and now there we have the man. I've just done the basic blocking in there, red and blue on his surcoat, and we've had the first shade of uh, leather work. The armor's been uh, silvered, and uh, what did I put? Dark stain. Did I put dark stain? Dark tone. Listen to me. Yeah, stainer on. And the bronze has had its first coat. That's got to have stainer as well. So. Um, Leather work next, turning that red, I think. Um, as yeah, as the horse horse is finished, it's a bit shiny. It's got to be matted down. Um, the red leather works had all its uh, its all its bits on it. Yeah, eyes are done, nays nasal, and blaze are done, and the hoofs. Sorry, fetlocks are done. We need dog, right? So, it's carry on with the king. Uh, won't be too much longer before I'm finished. Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought. I mean, I've got to do all the, the highlighted gold work. I'm not sure how that'll work, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put a, another shade on the blue and a shade on the red surcoat. Oops. And uh, then possibly do a wash. And then that should highlight the uh, the line rampant. And uh, yeah, I think so. And then I'll just have to lightly pick those out, I think. But we'll see. Right, I'll get cracking. Right, well there we go, we're getting there. I've just put the man on the horse, as they say. Um, just about finished. Uh, I've done quite a bit of shading and staining and blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a very bitty figure. That's what I'm finding, there's so much on it. Um, looking at obviously Fleur de Lis and the lines, Lone Rampant. And it's a very busy figure, bitty and busy. So. It's, it's it's hard for me to make it. <laughs> that must just be me. But I think he's he's come out okay. Uh, so a bit more uh, to shade here with the blue part where the uh, flood leaves are. Uh, the line rampant parts are done and shaded. Uh, stirrups to do and the sword to do. And then base him up. Um, yeah, and obviously got to map varnish him after all that. So get in there. Faces come out. Don't get that in, can I? Pretty good the face has worked out. For me anyway, that's uh, there's four shades in there and that's come out okay. So I'm happy enough with that. Right, just let the glue dry, sword, stirrups, and then a final shade and touch up and I'll come back to you. Right, there we go. He's all done, all finished. Old, um, ready to do the basing. I'm putting it on a basic uh, 50 mil MDF base. Take it off that. Uh, just put the varnish on the figure so that'll be dry nicely once that's dry um, then we'll base it all up so uh, yep please it's um, it seems to have come out okay so not, not too bad at all um, I'd say a very bitty figure very busy lots going on um, but uh, you know that's we can't do anything about that can we that's Henry V he was a busy character right enough waffling I'll get the basing and then come back to you uh, for a final roundup. Okay, there we go. He's all finished. King Henry, Henry the Fifth, or Harry and St George. Yes, uh, very busy figure. A lot going on. Um, enjoyed painting it. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. I don't think I've done too bad a job. If I can get in there and show it, yeah, the. Um, Obviously the Fleur de Lis and the line Rampart are actually cast on. So you only have to sort of tickle over the tops to uh, pick out those. Um, and I picked them out as best I could. I think the moulds are probably getting a bit worn. Uh, some of the Fleur de Lis are not wonderful. Uh, but you can only paint what there is. So, yeah. Well pleased with him. Uh, yeah. 
base, standard basing, uh, brown dry brush and flock and some tops. There is the man. So I'll put some stills at the end for you to have a look at. Uh, yeah, there he is. I have a face or show. Does the face show? Possibly, yeah. Right. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, tomorrow is St. Crispian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered.